welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. The removals have been done and the shop is full of boxes. A lot of the more general stuff was handled by the removals company who aren't sponsoring me so I won't mention them by name, but you can probably work it out. They did a fantastic and careful job. I put most of my specialised workshop equipment into my own self-storage unit at the very start of the process, so the next step was to rent a van and go and retrieve it all. It was a close fit, but I managed to empty the whole unit into a single round trip. Next order of business is checking everything for damage and making sure nothing is missing within the insurance deadline, so I need some swing space and somewhere to put things. To help make space, I'm going to start by getting these wall cabinets ready for use. They're battered and filthy, so they need some attention before I put my nice tools into them. I have this wall mounted cabinet lined up for measurement equipment, so I'll start here. It's fairly nice, so I want to do it justice, but I need a technique that won't take too long. The technique I'm using is from the English Polisher on YouTube, and I've used it a few times before. First I rub down the whole surface inside and out with denatured alcohol and fine wire wool. This removes any workshop oil, airborne dirt left from the welding that was done in here, and helps clean up whatever was spilt on the inside. It also rubs off the outer layer of anything left of the original finish, but stops short of fully stripping down to the bare wood. It's quick and easy to do, and very effective in cases like this where the old finish has been almost entirely destroyed. It doesn't work quite so well on furniture which has a modern finish that's still intact, in which case it may be necessary to strip the finish before restoring. Some of the surface grime was a bit stubborn, so I focused on those areas with slightly coarser wire wool. I want to avoid doing anything to damage the surface of the wood, as it's still smooth and flat, and re-sanding it would be a whole load more work. On the inside of the cabinet there have been a lot of mystery spillages, but the alcohol seems to be able to clear many of them up. Some are clearly stained deep into the wood, so can't be cleared by a surface rubdown, but they aren't really a problem for what I have in mind for this cabinet. I just want to make sure my measurement tools don't get dirty. The alcohol leaves behind a dry residue which needs to be cleaned off by rubbing down with more fine wire wool, then the dust is brushed away. The surface left behind is much cleaner and each rub down with the wire wool has helped smooth any roughness. Any loose or damaged finish has been removed. Now the surface is clean, I'm going to rub it down with white mineral oil. The immediate effect makes the wood look fantastic, but this is only temporary as long as a film of clean liquid oil clings to the surface. This is very purified mineral oil, available from aromatherapist suppliers, and it soaks into and rejuvenates the wood. It's very effective on older hardwood furniture with traditional shellac based finishes, but is also compatible with more modern oil finishing oils. It's particularly beneficial for furniture that's old and abused enough to have lost its natural tone, and it also helps re replace any oils removed during the rub down with alcohol. The oil needs to be left a long time to soak in, and as it does it really brings out the grain and natural colour of the wood. As it soaks, some spots start to look dry and others remain wet, so I use more wire wool to spread the oil around. I left the oil for a day or so, then rubbed the whole surface down with wire wool to clear the residue which the oil had lifted out of the wood's surface. At this point the wood is looking way better than when I started, and just needs a finish to protect it. If this was in the house, I'd consider French polishing it, or several coats of Danish oil, but as it's for the workshop, I'm just going to give it a quick coat of shellac. The shellac is rubbed on using a cotton wad, which has been soaked in shellac dissolved in alcohol. It goes on really easily while the wood is still slightly oily. I use a smaller wad to get into the corners, to make sure the wood is fully protected. It goes on really easily, but dries in a few seconds as the alcohol evaporates. With practice, this can be way faster than applying with a brush. I use a carbide paint scraper to scrape off any shellac which got onto the glass, and any last traces can be wiped off with alcohol.
cabinet is now clean, restored, protected and ready for use after only about an hour of actual work. It works ideally for all the measurement tools I have and seems a perfect choice. If you're interested in knowing more about this restoration technique, check out the English Polishers video at the link at the top right now. Next I'll be working on the much larger floor standing cabinets which need a lot more work. I hope you enjoyed this update, thanks for watching, take care, I love you all.